Good morning, YouTube. I hope you all look lovely. <laughs> this is what I look like in the morning. Um, obviously, I haven't showered yet. I'm I'm sorry if any of you are repulsed. I got a comment on Claire's latest video to me. By the way, thank you all so much for the happy birthdays. They all really meant a lot to me. Um, no, uh, we got a few comments on um, Not Your Normal Jess asked me how I get this disaster into a, a, a wig. Um, it's not easy getting it into a wig, by the way. So I'm gonna go over how to get, you know, how to, if you have big hair like I do, um, I'm gonna go kind of go over how to get it into a wig comfortably and easily. Uh, it, it takes a lot of practice, it takes a lot of patience. And what is my hair doing? It takes a lot of patience and practice and um, hopefully, you know, how I can, you know, hopefully what I, you know, how I can show you today will help. Um, and I'm also going to kind of go over what kind of wigs to look at and what kind of wigs to buy, you know, and what to look for in a wig. Because there are um, a few companies out there that sell really, really awesome wigs. So, um, I'm going to go shower. Um, So you want some bobby pins, um, as many as you need, and then you want some uh, hair ties to tie your braids in naturally. Alright, so you want your hair to be nice and dry so your wig doesn't get all damp and soggy. No one likes a soggy wig. Alright, and then a clean brush for your own hair, and then a comb for your wig, because you're going to want to brush out your wig before you put it on. Okay, so once you get your hair out of your towel, like so, you want to brush it out. And if your hair is long and thick like mine, take your time because you don't want to hurt yourself, first of all. And you don't want any mats or tangles because that just will not bode well in the long run. Alright, now that your hair is nice and brushed, you want to separate it into two sections for two different braids. It is very, very important to make sure your braids are nice and tight. Because um, if your hair is anything like mine, as it dries, it is going to voluminize. And it will make it very, very hard to put your wig on once it's off. So, yeah, you just braid your hair nice and tight. done and I look like Pippi Longstockings. Yippee! Um, okay, now that's done, you pull the braids up over your head, like so. Um, kind of figure out where they're going to be pinned. And then you get your bobby pins, and then I typically use one per braid, and you just kind of wrap it up over your head and pin it down. Uh, this will help keep your hair under your wig cap and keep it from falling out. Alright, there are typically two wig caps that I like to use. The first one is a mesh wig cap with a hole in the top. And this one is incredibly useful because um, it is easy to get over your head and Okay, well, obviously that did not work there. Haha. <laughs> okay, so you get it over your head and you can easily pull it down and it can help catch all of those loose hairs. And what's nice about these is that you can 
twist the top and kind of double it back over to, keep, to make it nice and tight and keep your hair from falling out the back end. Alright, then this next one is a nylon wig cap. I actually prefer this one to the mesh because um, it's it's lighter, I feel like, and it, I feel like it, it holds in your hair better than the mesh. Um, it's a bit harder to get on, it's a bit harder to get all of those little hairs under, but I feel like once you do, it just it holds better, and it's lighter, and um, I, I just, I greatly prefer this wig, to, this, this wig cap to the mesh. Okay, now we actually get to the part of putting on the wig. As you can see, I've stored Sirius uh, inside out because I do not have a wig head for him. Uh, this keeps the fibers nice and clean and together and it keeps them from getting tangled if you're not planning on wearing a wig for a long period of time. So you just flip it right side out. Um, and use your comb to just lightly brush out the fibers so that they're nice and smooth and lovely. And now for the moment we all have been waiting for, actually putting on the wig. This. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, obviously not for a certain astral, but <laughs> um, I'm trying. I, I'm. Mm, mm. Okay, there we go. Look at that, and that is how you put on a wig. Okay, make sure you put a bobby pin in the center of your wig to keep from sliding backwards and forwards if you're planning on doing heavy cosplay work. And that is also why you don't give Astral permission to use uh, sound in her mo movies. No, so that's the end of the How Astral Gets Her Wigs On tutorial video. Um, keep in mind, this is only for simple wigs uh, that aren't heavily styled. Um, Roxas here, who's in maintenance mode. Um, heavily styled wigs typically take a... I, I, I need to have someone... I need to have someone help me put this wig on. Because um, it, it's so heavily styled. So... So, no, thank you for watching the video, and part two with what kind of wigs to buy will be up soon. And till then, ta ta. I'm Roxas, and I need a crop ton of hairspray in my hair. Take that!